Hi students, welcome back to chemistry land. We are going through the topic surface chemistry. In the last video, we had seen about the topic intermediate compound formation theory. So, in the present video, we are going to see about the topic adsorption theory. What are the concepts of the adsorption theory? Let us see the adsorption theory that is action of catalyst in heterogeneous catalyzed reactions based on adsorption. So, based on adsorption in the heterogeneous catalyst reaction, what is the action of the catalyst is explained by Langmuir. First, we will see about what is meant by contact catalysis that is reactant molecules are adsorbed on the catalyst surface. The first step is on the catalyst surface, the reactant molecules are adsorbed. Then the adsorbed reactant molecules will form the activated complex, then it undergoes decomposition to form the products. Then in the next step the product molecules are desorbed that is it is oppos opposite to adsorption. So the activated complex undergoes decomposition to form the products. Then the product molecules are desorbed that is the products diffuse away from the surface of the catalyst. So this are the steps take, takes place in the adsorption theory. Next one we will see about the active centers that is the surface of the catalyst is not smooth generally the surface of the catalyst is not smooth that is the, there are steps cracks and corners in the surface. So the atoms of the location of the surface is unsaturated so they have residual force of attraction. So based on the surface of the catalyst the atoms on the location of the surface is unsaturated so they have residual force of attraction. Let us see the example in this adsorption theory that is hydrogenation of ethylene in presence of nickel catalyst. So we get the product that is ethane. The nickel catalyst is taken in the finely divided form that is finely divided means powder form. So if you take the catalyst in the finely divided form that is powder form the surface area of the catalyst becomes larger. So the number of the active centers increases. So the activity of the catalyst also increases. So increasing the activity of the catalyst. So the rate of the reaction increases that is the finely divided catalyst will take the uh, catalyst in the powdered form. So the activity of the catalyst increases. Here the unsaturated uh, reactant molecule that is ethylene undergoes hydrogenation. So the pi bond breaks. In presence of the nickel catalyst, nickel is taken in the finely powdered form, we get the product ethane. The next, the next factor is the catalytic poison also affects the active centers. So the active centers are affected by some uh, catalytic poison. In another one, to increase the active centers, the promoters or uh, activators are used. Promoters or activators increases the number of the active centers. So this is about the adsorption theory that is Langmuir explained the action of catalyst in heterogeneous catalyst reaction. This is based on adsorption. So the first step is the reactant molecules are adsorbed on the catalyst surface. Then the activated complex is formed. It undergoes decomposition to form products. Then the products are desorbed that is diffused from the surface of the catalyst. Then the catalyst is taken in the finely divided form because to increase the active centers. So the surface area of the catalyst is increased because it is taken in the powdered form. This is all about the adsorption theory. If you all like this video, please share this video, comment it and like it. And also please subscribe our YouTube channel Chemistry Land. And also press the bell icon. Watch the full video. Thank you.